All right, my beautiful friends, here we go. Uh, time to get back to work. It is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Well, we just got the grim news that another 2.4 million people lost their jobs. This is, this is epic. Um, we are clearly at Great Depression level, beyond actually, Great Depression level un unemployment. And that is very sad. People are hurting in this country, and, and this market continues to go higher. Again, there's no bearing on reality. You know that. It's a, it's a phenomenon that's almost hard to get your head around. But we, we know what's going on. We understand the fakery, the charade, the game that is being played on everyone, the, the pumping of trillions of dollars into this market, the Wall Street banks yesterday, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan calling for more quantitative easing, the Fed taking over the world. Um, let, let, let me put a bigger perspective on this for you real quick here, just so you understand. Why do you believe the real reason, the real reason why the world economy has been brought to a standstill um, was literally to allow the Federal Reserve to print epic sums of cash with a zero chance of hyperinflation. Kill the economy. Kill it. So there's no money velocity allowing the Federal Reserve to go on a money printing debt acquisition binge unlike anything we've ever seen in the history of the world. This was a deliberate act and the coronavirus, this nonsensical entity out here that wouldn't register a fraction of a percentage point with regard to the amount of people it's affected on a global scale, not even a fraction of a fraction. Well, that was used to kill the economy so the Federal Reserve could get in here and print unlimited amounts of cash, again, as a takeover for the entire world. That's the charade that has been pulled on not just the people of, of the United States, but the world. This has allowed the Federal Reserve to become, again, public enemy number one, the, the, the central bank of the world, funneling trillions of dollars around the world. You can't make this stuff up if you tried. That's what's going on here. It's, un it's unbelievable. It really it gets me crazy. So understand the uh, the depth of the insanity that is going on here uh, with regard to this thing is off the Richter scale. Kill the economy to allow the Federal Reserve to finish its final solution to become the lender, buyer, and owner of it all. That's where we are at. Uh, okay, with that said, let's let's talk. So stock futures were down uh, triple digits prior to this number coming out, this jobs number, another 2.4 million people losing their jobs. The number comes out, stock futures go up. Still in the negative, but uh, not as deeply as before. Again, you can't make that up either, but that's where we're at. Crude oil catching a nice bid here. Uh, on its way higher, near $35 a barrel now, and it is so overvalued, it's not even funny. Um, again, the real value right now, between $10 and $15 at most. But again, it's being propped up. You know the mechanism here. It's twisted. Um, cryptocurrencies are under pressure right now. So is gold and silver. 10-year yield, slightly higher. Let's keep our eye on all this uh, moving forward. You know that it. This stuff sometimes really does get to me. When you see what's going on, when you're able to understand this, this, this sick, perverted thing that has been used here, used to allow the Federal Reserve to take over the world. Kill the economy. Kill it. So there's no money velocity, zero. There was none before either. I mean, you know, going back to the booming economy under when President Trump, booming, better than it's ever been. Biggest lie in the history of the world. How do we know that? The money velocity was, not, was at historic lows. How many of you would have to agree? You cannot have a booming economy if cash isn't moving through it. President couldn't tell you that. No one can tell you that. No one can tell you that they deliberately killed the economy to allow the Federal Reserve to go to the top of that pyramid and beyond so they can take over the freaking world. That's where we're at, people. It's um, unbelievable. All right. With that said, big shout out to all of you who came out last night to that cruise night over at Farmer Boys on Eastern Avenue. I had a blast. 
I actually posted a video of it. I hope you got a chance to see it. Um, I will be there next Wednesday as well. Uh, a lot of good people there. O awesome. Awesome conversation. Lots of fun. Uh, and once this, uh, this charade, if it ever passes, well, it, this charade will not be allowed to pass until the Federal Reserve gets, finishes it, until they're done with uh, their final solution. And we will all be answering to the Federal Reserve, uh, the real rulers of the world. That's who they are, the banks, the Federal Reserve, the New World Central Bank. They're so powerful. They were, they, this whole thing was engineered to shut down the global economy to allow the Federal Reserve to finish their 100-year plan to, again, become the lender and buyer of last resort so they can own the world and become the uh, central bank of the world. And a whole new set of rules is about to come down the pike as we answer to, uh, answer to this entity. It's crazy what's going on here. All right. With that said, this guy right here loves you a lot. See you at the end of the day. It's going to be just, it's just crazy.